Mama got some lines. Good job, Mom. Good morning, guys. Good evening. Good afternoon. Whenever you guys are watching, thanks for tuning in. We really appreciate it. You've got Mallory and Scott here with Noe Lawn Care. We're based out of High Point, North Carolina, for those of you that are new. Um, well, let me tell you what our project is today. We're doing a little, little cleanup at our own property. We've had this tree here in our front yard. Well, it's been here for about, what, 30 plus years? Half of it was dying. The limbs were falling off in the grass, landing on the gutter, the roof, you know, just, just causing damage. Not really too much damage, but enough. Um, just, just tired of it, ready to get it on. So, came and had a guy come and chop it down for us. He did an amazing job. We're very satisfied. Uh, Luke with, uh, what's his name? Seamstress? Seamstress. Seamster, excuse me. Anyways, he's going to come back and uh, grind this stump down for us. And then we're going to start all over. But, uh, yeah, this is what we're working on. Filling up the truck, gonna take it around back. What is up guys, Mallory and Scott here with Noe Lawn Care. If you've stuck with us through the video this long, I greatly appreciate it. As we are just trying to clean up all this mess in the front yard, you know, we had this big old tree that we had cut down. Uh, still haven't got the stump grinded yet. We're probably a week after the tree is down now. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it got that in the works, but no rush, no rush at all to get that done. 
logging up these big, uh, big timber here was really a workout for both of these chainsaws. We have the steel MS-180, not really built for anything large like this. Um, it was just, took a while. I think I have a bent bar on that one, but chain, of course, had to be sharpened numerous times, as well with the old Craftsman that you see me using right there on the stump behind that log. Same thing, just just had to keep the chain sharp. I guess it's not not used to all that work, all that work that we put it through. Hey, there's the neighbors. But yeah, this is me back and forth playing with it, trying to decide whether I should sharpen it one more time or just call it quits for the day. And I'm pretty sure I just called it quits for the day. No, no, that's right. I pulled it back out and get some gas in it. Actually, I forgot when this thing gets hot, it does not like to crank back up. So when it does, you're very, very lucky, and more than likely it's about to shut off again. And yeah, we just gave up on it. Appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. We'll see you in the next one.